If we just look at, uh, of course, uh, Mosk or OpenStack in this modern world, I always kind of compare, you know, OpenStack and some of these technologies uh, with technology like the Linux kernel or the Unix or in mainframe, you know, these are kind of not the shiny object around here, but these are the foundation, the backbone of our economy, of you know the, the IT world that we are building today. So can you also talk about the role? Because uh, in early days, OpenStack was the shiniest object. Everybody was talking about it. Now, and the fact is that even Linux kernel, you know, it's stable, it's mature, it's been used in production. So we don't talk much about it as we used to. So I want to also understand the state of OpenStack, uh, where it is, uh, how it's being used today. You made a great observation. It's very true that uh, OpenStack is not on the, you know, on the top of the wave uh, in terms of like being uh, something new, something well, long awaited. Uh, it's a, well, to a, a, a certain extent, it's a, it became a commodity of some sort, so it became mature, uh, and it well, you know, it lost a bit of its excitement around it, unfortunately. Well, because like it's a normal thing for technologies, you just uh, come to the market, everybody is so excited, everybody loves it, everybody is talking about that. Then just well, at some point, the hype goes down, and all we see around is just like, you know, people who actually run things in production and don't like to talk about that thing too much. So this is pretty much uh, where OpenStack had been until this Broadcom VMware acquisition story. I mean, it's the second breath that the technology is getting specifically in the context of getting away from VMware because it has a lot to offer uh, to specifically enterprise, well, okay, companies with enterprise thinking, right? Something that uh, the niche that uh, usually, well, used to be fit by, well, to 90, 80% by VMware, right? So people start to talk about OpenStack again. Uh, they start exploring this um, technology. They start thinking about transforming maybe some of their workloads to, you know, move them, make them more, you know, cloud, well, ready, which is something that uh, they wouldn't be doing if it wasn't for the, you know, this VMware technology shift. So uh, to, to my perspective, uh, it's actually great that, well, OpenStack is back again. And well, we, we from Ranches, we are supporting this moment, like, we, with whatever we can, we have very nice offerings, technology offerings, services offerings, specifically around this migration from VMware. Uh, 